Hi guys and welcome back. Today I have something really interesting to share with you. Um, I always kind of like Halloween and how you, it's a one time a year where you can actually dress up and be whoever you want to be, dress up whoever you want to be. Um, but until I got into cosplay where I knew I could just do it whenever I wanted, <laughs> um, Halloween was the time of year that I enjoyed the most. So I still enjoy Halloween, but it's really cool to um, have some official costumes come out for the series. And I heard about this, I think, sometime in the beginning of the year or something like that. So these have been announced a long, long time now. But they weren't available to purchase yet. But now that it's the Halloween season, we can see what these things are going to look like. And they actually have um, Mercury... And Mars up for order as well as the Sailor Moon one. But the really funny part of it is they do have a tuxedo mask costume, which is amazing. <laughs> it looks really, really cool. Um, one of my friends, Efrain, he actually bought it. So on my Twitter, if you post some pictures, I'll definitely share some pictures from his account of him wearing it. Because I think it's going to be really cool. I actually kind of want to get that one too. But I figured I'd get the Sailor Moon one because I think a lot of people will be most uh, interested in knowing what the Sailor Moon one's going to look like because that means we'll get to know what the Mercury one's going to look like and the Mars one's going to look like because they're all going to be pretty similar like this one is. So um, this is made by fun.com but they also have the Halloween costumes website and I'll put all that information in the description so you guys can go check out this costume. Um, but yeah, take a look at it. And for kicks, because I don't normally do this, but I also bought the wig, the Sailor Moon wig, because these always look kind of atrocious. <laughs> but I thought I was really interested in knowing a little bit about it, uh, seeing what it actually looks like. I doubt it's going to look as good as it does here on the package, but I was very intrigued to try to get both accessories together. That way you guys can get the full effect of how crazy it's going to look. But I'm really looking forward to the costume though. The costume's the best part. So uh, the packaging looks nice. It looks very official. And of course it is official. We do have, uh, I think, yeah, the Toei sticker hits up here on the back. So this is an official product. So let's open it up and see what it looks like here because I'm very excited to see how this turns out. So I got a large because I looked at the measurements on there for myself and currently that is what it looks like it's going to fit me. Okay. So this does come with some accessories. We do have some gloves here. So here is the gloves, and it looks like the gloves actually have like foam, like legit foam in them. So yeah. So let's put on one of these gloves. And uh, let me roll up my sleeve on my shirt. And actually fit them. So yeah, here is the glove, and it's not too bad. It looks pretty nice. Um, the area of which the sleeve rolls end is here, which is kind of not the greatest. And it doesn't go all the way around either. Like the foam actually stops right here. So that's a big problem. But that might be something you could fix. But I know a lot of you guys don't want to really fix your costumes. You want to just open them up and wear them. So that's a big problem. So yeah, the foam doesn't go all the way to where the seam ends. So, yeah, it might be something you'd have to tack and try to repair. But it might mess up the area here. So, yeah. These could have been made a little better. <laughs> I'm not too impressed with those. I do like that they actually made them like they would look like in the show and everything. Like, actual cosplayers would make theirs. But, yeah, the... The whole stopping of the foam between the seam is kind of discouraging. And it's also kind of nice to have this inseam right here. 
be where the thumb is because that means it's going to be right here on your arm so kind of hides it then you do have a choker so here's the choker i don't know how well this is going to fit it looks like it's going to be huge so we'll see yeah it's a little bit big on me So yeah, it's a little bit loose on me. So that bit would be something I would also need to fix. So, I don't know. This is kind of hard to determine because this is like depending on your body structure, I guess. Everybody's neck is going to be a little bit different. Even though they might all fit a large, they're not going to always fit the neck area accurately. So that might be something... That would, you would have to fix as well, or it could fit you, who knows. It's all different. But here's also a tiara. And these are these foam tiaras. You can actually get these with some of the unofficial costumes as well. This is pretty standard as far as uh, costume tiaras go when you buy them online. So yeah, this isn't like fantastic either. You do see the foam right there so it's not like all around and it's very unevenly cut like look at that <laughs> so yeah it's a little unevenly cut so, could be something you could make better you could repair it again but we're we're back to the whole do you want to buy a costume you're going to have to fix yourself so yeah that's a little bit of a deterrent but here's the actual costume itself so, um, yeah, this, the, the body is here, and I'm already seeing, <laughs> I'm already seeing things I don't particularly like about it, but things that could be fixed. So here is the big bow in the front, and it does have a brooch on it. The brooch is, I think it's got foam, kind of like the tiara does. And it's got a silk screening image of a brooch there, her first brooch. And then it is wrapped in fabric in the back. So this is a lot like the ones you see that you can buy unofficially from China and stuff. So it's a lot like that one. But at least this one is official, so that's got a little bit of a bonus. The... <laughs> the the bow was a little crazy like I'm trying to actually show you guys but it's a little bit crazy it needs some work it needs to be straightened out the little bottom tails here are kind of like I don't know how to explain them they're kind of folded kind of weirdly and stuff so yeah it's definitely something you would have to like repair the one big thing about this costume is a lot of people pointed out when I was sharing some of the images is these sleeves. These are the most accurate sleeves we've gotten, I think, on an official costume so far. So these are actually pretty nice. They're huge, though. I mean, they're so, so huge. So I don't know. We'll determine that once I put it on. But yeah, they're, they're very well made. This is probably the best part about them so far. And they're really soft. They got a nice coverage of foam in them for sure and then the collar is pretty basic i think um as far as the last official costume i know for a fact this is probably the best we've gotten at least from the last one that came out i think it was made by incognito i did a little bit of a video on that as well but yeah the the edge was all rough on that one and it was very, very puffed out and weird, where this one's definitely a lot flatter. The material they used um, is a little better, too. The, the color is definitely more accurate for Sailor Moon. The other one, the Incognito one, was definitely a lot lighter blue. This is definitely a lot brighter of a blue, a little bit darker and stuff. I definitely like it a lot better. And you do have basic ribbon for the stripes, which is pretty nice, actually. I don't 
particularly mind these. I think I would have liked them to be a little bit brighter white, I guess, or a thicker material or something, because you can see kind of the blue through them, but it's not too bad. It would definitely be something you could wear and be proud of, so I definitely like that aspect. There's the tag in the in the back there, the Sailor Moon logo and stuff on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, the, the rough edge is pretty bad here on the inner part where they sewed it together, but we'll see how that looks when I put it on too. And the bow is, okay, this is a big problem. <laughs> I don't particularly like, um, when the bow is like attached to the costume. So the bow is permanently on there. So it's sewn on right there as you can see so it's sewn there and sewn there on both sides and they put a zipper all the way down here so you can unzip and put it on but it kind of defeats the purpose when the bow is attached to the costume so you're not giving much you, I mean you're getting a maybe an extra inch there in the bust but you're not getting very much with that bow being permanently attached to the costume so that's a kind of a problem so i guess if you wanted to you could cut the seam oh wait a second wait a second okay that's different i wasn't seeing that at first but it is stitched here but there is velcro on the other side so that's how you get your extra space there is velcro right here and it's attached to the bow. So, that's different. I wasn't really expecting that. Because it kind of looked like they were both attached when I first looked at them. But yeah, you do have some extra space. So I'll give you a better look at that. So that is how it's attached. There's a piece of Velcro. And there's your zipper. So you can put this over your head pretty easily. So that's a bonus. I still don't know how well the bow is going to work out, if it's going to be really like loose and like not look well. It's already kind of looking kind of weird. There's not a whole bunch of like extra material inside. There look feels like there's like some netting inside to kind of make it stick out, but there's not too much else. There might be something you could do if you steam this and make it more firm. I don't really like the the tails though at the bottom kind of look weird. As for the bottom of the costume, everything looks pretty cool down here. Like, um, I mean this looks nice the way they have this. It's pretty perfect I'd say. Um, the bottom of it's not, I don't know, it kind of looks like it doesn't really match the picture. <laughs> like, you look like it looks like you have a whole lot of pleating here, and it looks pretty crisp and everything. The pleating on the actual costume doesn't look exactly like that. I mean, it, it definitely needs ironing, or not really ironing, but steaming. I don't recommend you ever iron any of your costumes. Just steam everything. It does a much better job, and it's a lot safer. So, But yeah, steaming... Is definitely going to meet, need to be done with this costume and the pleats are kind of small pleating I don't really see any like major pleating on this there's definitely a whole like six inch on the on the edges here that is not pleated it's not gonna be pleated here on your hips so that's a big problem the skirt is super long it feels like but some costumes that you get for Sailor Moon can be very short, so at least this gives you some lead way where you can modify it yourself. When it's already too short, there's nothing you can do. So at least if it's too long, you can fix that and make it work better. And now the back bow. Now some people like this in this costume. Um, I've bought uh, some of the unofficial ones. So I can tell you with the unofficial ones, the back bow is actually attached to the leotard in the back which I never liked so I always like took that off and 
lowered it and put it on the waistband part. This costume actually has that exact same thing. And what I mean is it's like pulling on the stretchy leotard material. The back bow is attached to it, so it weighs it down in this little section and put, pulls on it. And I always hated that about the unofficial ones that are going around. <laughs> this one is exactly like that. So this is something I would suggest maybe to bring down and put on the waistband area so it doesn't pull on this material and make it look weird in the back. But I did notice just now, this is attached with two little buttons. You have these little button pins, kind of like it's on a jacket, like my jacket here that I'm wearing. I don't really know what they're called, but this is what they look like there. And that's kind of helpful. Um, the unofficial ones I think have like Velcro in this, this area. So this is actually more safer for your material than velcro is but they used velcro on the front bow so it probably would have been better to be more consistent and just do all buttons but here's the bow the bow as you could tell needs some serious work <laughs> like really bad right, right now but like i said you could probably steam this flat flat it out a little bit and try to make it work for you out of the bag this is kind of typical to see something this crazy but again the material inside is very flimsy so i don't know but yeah that is your back bow and it's gonna need some work the waistband on this is pretty nice i do kind of like the effort on the waistband and the bottom has your netting so this would need steamed as well here's your bottom this is your bottom of your costume and this actually is a snap bottom it's a little bit rough and it's hard to, okay I got it so yeah this snaps together I don't know how well this is gonna fit me because usually leotards you're gonna have to have perfectly fit to make them work the way you want to but yeah this is a plus I was not expecting this to be an actual like leotard with the buttons and everything so it does have your snap crotch on there so you can actually use it as a leotard. So I'm going to put this on and we're going to see what it looks like. But first, I'm going to show you what this crazy wig is going to look like too. Because we need to figure out what this thing is going to look like. But the, the costume's got a lot of potential. It's probably the best one we've gotten so far as official costumes and everything. I do like it. It's just the bows need work and some little things, you know. This is going to need work. But things have potential. I'm liking it so far. So this is the wig. This is the packaging for the wig this time around. And it's your typical really bright yellow wig. And I don't really like the bright yellow wigs for Sailor Moon. But people do like them. So, so here it is. It does have your little um, Odango discs, as I've always called them little shields on her hair. Alright, so let's get this thing out of here. The ponytails are pretty long, actually. And, let's see. You got your, your bangs. And, uh, yeah, big problem here. There's, like, I don't know if this is glued on or what's going on exactly. There's like glue up here and it's like making this really weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I knew this was going to be a disaster anyways. This is like not a shocker, but yeah. The back is kind of weird. I mean, once you put it on, it's probably going to stretch out. But there's like this like extra area here that's like not covering... There's a gap. The buns are a disaster. <laughs> it's like, they're so weird. It's like, they're not working out. They're not working out. But we're going to see what this thing looks like. Because I, I knew it was going to be a disaster. Like, I, I knew going into this, this is not a good purchase for a wig. There's glue everywhere on this thing. It's like, 
they just and then put the buns on. It's like a complete disaster. <laughs> and there's like hair that's like on the sides. I don't know. It's really, really weird. But I mean, you could probably fix it a little bit, but you're not going to fix this. This, this was glued on this way. Why did you do this? <laughs> Why was this done? Like, these aren't buns. These are like, this is literally folded hair. Okay. Folded hair, bunched it up like this and glued it on. I don't know why they decided to do this. This is a bad choice, okay? Seriously, seriously bad. But okay, that's the, that's the buns there, and they're a disaster, and we know this. But let's try this thing on. This is what you guys have come for, to try this thing on and see how it looks. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> guys I hope you like that little uh, display I decided to cook up um <laughs> so as you can tell this wig is a big no now if you want to dress your kid up as Sailor Moon this would be perfect adults no <laughs> definitely not when I put it on I already knew that it wasn't gonna fit my head cuz there's like gaps right here gaps right there I think for the most part, it's covering up most of the back of my head, but not all of it. There's like a little bit of a hair sticking out back here. I'm almost certain of it because I can feel it. I can't see it until I run back the footage. But yeah, this is definitely not good. Um, there's potential in it to make it look better than where I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> but um, it's going to need a little bit of like steaming and curling of the bangs. The tails are not bad. These look pretty nice. Um, they're probably not gonna keep maintained very easily though. It's the main thing. I would just keep like messing with them occasionally doing this, kind of straightening up the little flyaways that go crazy. But yeah, this is not going to stay nice for very long. And this, like the way they did the buns is just no, no, definitely not. So I do not recommend this wig <laughs> unless you're, you're a kid and you want to dress up like a Sailor Moon, then this would be perfect for you. You can make it look nice, whatever, that kind of thing. The costume, the costume has potential. These arm sleeves are pretty nice. Now it's a little loose on me and I think the reason why is because this costume is a large and normally I buy a large, but I think I should have maybe bought a medium and then it would have kind of had these come up a little bit. I can fix this, so I'm not particularly worried about it. For you though, I would say, cause it's a little baggier on the waist too. I would say maybe getting a size under than what you would normally buy. That would be my guess. And of course the whole sleeve situation <laughs> or the glove situation, I mean. But the gloves are nice, it's just, I don't really care for what they did there. I thought that was kind of, I don't know, they could have totally sewn that up there and connected the foam and that would have been perfect. They'd have been perfect, why didn't they do that? Um, the skirt is super, super long, as you could have saw on my little runway walk. It's a little long, it comes almost to my knees which is kind of long for a costume that's supposed to come, I don't know, halfway up your thigh, something like that. Um, but that is also something you could fix, uh, get tailor-made for you, and it wouldn't be that big of a thing. So, I don't know, the costume, I say, 
maybe gets a 5 out of 10 for me. It's not like, obviously, if you got this commissioned for 200 some dollars from an actual person that makes costumes, be a way better costume than this. But if you're under a budget, you're just looking for something quick to dress up, there you go. This is pretty nice for that uh, thing. And most of you guys probably would just want to dress up like Sailor Moon for a Halloween thing. Not everybody's cosplaying, so this would be perfect. You could just make it work a little better with a little steam, that kind of thing. So, I don't know. If I tend to fix this costume up, I will definitely share it on my Instagram or my Twitter. Which I always do that. I always fix up costumes. I might even fix this thing up even though there's no way <laughs> I'm ever wearing this again. But, I mean, I always have that spirit about me to improve things, make them better, that kind of thing. So I definitely will be doing that with this costume, but I don't know if I'll ever be, like, wearing it. I don't know. I might wear it to, like... I don't know, my work has like a Halloween thing. That might be something I'd wear too. This wig, I don't know if this is happening. <laughs> because it doesn't even fit. Like there's no way to make it fit. It's it's right there, that's it. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I knew this would be hilarious to me. The wig especially, so that's why I wanted to get it, share it. I thought it would be fun for Halloween. It is definitely all of those things. There's the tiara. The tiara actually does fit perfectly. It fit molds to my head, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, let me let, let me know, guys, um, what you think of this. <laughs> let me know if this is some, something you'd buy. Uh, I'm eager to see how the other ones look in real life. I don't know if anybody will buy the wigs. Usually the wigs are, everybody knows going in, they're a disaster. So probably nobody will buy those other than me. <laughs> Because I had to know what this would look like. But, I don't know. If you get this costume, any of the costumes, please tag me. Send them in a message. Whatever you want to do. I want to see. So, do that, please. So, yeah. And I will share them. I will share them on my Instagram stories or retweet them on my Twitter or however send them to me. I want to see. But thank you guys so much for checking my video today. This is probably going to be another long one. But I always have so much to say and you guys want to review and sometimes it takes a little bit more than 10 minutes for me to review something. So. <laughs> but thanks a lot guys and I will see you next time. And happy Halloween if you're watching this and you don't see any of my other videos between now and then. So yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.